The Imperial Sugar Company, Savannah Sugar Refinery, has been operating since 1917 here in Savannah, Georgia. It's a cane sugar refinery, so raw sugar comes in and we do some processing to it and we produce finished refined sugar, what you're used to seeing on your supper table or your breakfast table. We take raw sugar, convert it into white sugar. We also make powdered and brown sugars and a variety of other products. Our plant runs somewhere between four and six million pounds of sugar per day, about 300 days a year. So at the end of the year, we've processed 1.8 billion pounds of sugar through this plant. The sugar cane is a grass and it grows really tall. It grows about 12, 15 feet tall. And when they harvest those, they cut the stalks down, they crush it, they extract the juice. And in the juice, there's about 15% sugar. That sugar is then cleaned up at a sugar mill and crystallized into raw sugar. Many people are probably familiar with raw sugar, sugar in the raw. It's a brown crystalline product. That's the raw material that we start with out of Savannah Sugar Refinery. The first process of refining sugar is to actually wash the sugar a little bit. So we use large centrifuge machines that look a lot like washing machine baskets. From there we want to decolorize it because we want to turn the brown sugar crystals that came in into white sugar crystals. The way we do that is we remove the, uh, the colorants that come in that are part of the uh, natural process of sugar growing in sugar cane. Here we're at the white sugar pan floor, which is the step after we've clarified and decolorized and got the liquor all ready to be turned back into white sugar crystals. The next step is to actually turn it back into sugar crystals. We do that using vacuum pan technology where we actually crystallize the sugar under vacuum. Once we crystallize these sugar crystals, the next thing we need to do is we need to dry them. So we run those through a large granulator which dries uh, the sugar crystals and then from there we want to size it. So we run it through a series of screens to size it to the size that we want. From there we feed it to our different packaging machines or bulk shipments. All in all it takes probably two days for sugar to go from the front end of the refinery until it's ready to go into a package. Once we package the sugar in a typical four or five pound bag, these bags are then put onto a pallet. They're then stretch wrapped. We follow all of this with our laboratory testing to make sure everything's okay. This pallet goes out into the warehouse. An order comes through our system. The forklift driver gets the order, goes out, picks up the pallet, puts it into a truck, sends the truck out, and it arrives at uh, your local grocery store. So now as you sit down to have your coffee and you're going to add some sugar to your coffee, think about all the things that went in to make that sugar. All the way from the blowing stalks of sugar cane somewhere in the world through a ship coming across the ocean delivering it to Dixie Crystal Refinery here in Savannah, uh, through all the processing and delivering it out to the grocery store so that you can have your sweetened coffee.